Hi guys, it's Claire, and I'm going to tell you how my new reviewing system is going to work. I'm going to start with the doll, top to bottom. I'm going to try to cover everything in the box as well as on the box, even though I might not get to everything. So, if I just happen to be doing like a front view of the doll and I just accidentally missed something, I'm, I'm sorry. So, yeah, it's going to be... Review the doll, review the box, then give my opinion on it, and then finally where I got the doll. Okay, so let's get started. Here she is, Harmonix Aisha. And if you don't count the McDonald's toys, this is the first Aisha doll that I have. Okay, so let's get started on her. She has a shell in her hair. I'm just waiting for it to focus. I'm not sure if it will focus this close up, but I know it can. Okay, and she has really dark brown hair, which is really wavy, and it goes really far down into the box, and you'll see it in the side view. And then her eyes are a tealish color. I'm just trying to stall while this thing focuses. Pretty, pretty please. Pretty, pretty please focus for me. And it looks like she's looking up, but she's actually looking out. Thank you for focusing for me. And then her outfit consists of teal and really bright green differences going in and out into different colors. And her skirt is like a seafoam green with glitter on it. And then her shoes are purple. And they go all the way down which you'll be able to see better in the side view and she has this little shield thing that she comes with and this train thing and then power poses and then here's the CGI image of Aisha and Aisha Nickelodeon ages 4 and up warning Jack Pacific Sophie and then here is the first side view uh, her, I forgot her wings. I'm sorry. I'll do it in the front view. See how her hair is like really long? You'll be able to see her better in the other side view, I promise. Because it will be facing the light. And then here's the front view. And then her wings are very multi-colored with a purple glittery outlining. I know, sweetie. I know. I... And then her wings... Or a pinkish and then they fade into like a bluish color so yeah and then obviously front view and then side view once it focuses you can see the shell a little bit more and then yeah and then you can see the train and then top view I'm sorry I didn't show that first before the other side view You can see the seashell a little better. If my camera decides to focus for me, please, thank you. So, yeah, here's the front view of the box. And it has her little water emblem. And then the box is blue. It goes from blue to pink. And then here is the back of the box for to collect harmonics collection, the Winx logo, and then the hook that I hang her from. Aisha, Flora, Bloom, and Stella. And then here's her caption with Aisha Harmonics in the picture. And my fingers kept on getting in the way. I'm sorry. The power of harmonics allows the Winx Club to be powerful underwater. The power of harmonics. Contains one doll with fashion, one pair of harmonics, wings, one energy accessory. Nickelodeon.com, well, Nickelodeon logo, and then Nick.com slash Winks, and then www.winkstoys.jacks.com. The magic is in you. And then another CGI image of Aisha. And then how I feel about this doll. Let me get her into a good viewing position. And then focus. Okay. I think this doll is extremely, extremely pretty. I love these little mini dolls 
probably slightly better than the 12 inch dolls just because they have the detail and I said it in the Musa concert mini and I'll say it here and these little dolls prove that just because something is little doesn't mean that it doesn't that it shouldn't have a lot of detail and I like the fact that these are a lot more detailed than the 12 inch dolls and I think that the eight dollars is worth more than the twenty dollars that you do pay for the bigger ones so yes I do plan on starting a collection of these along with getting the 12 inch counter parts to them now about the show in her hair I'm not sure if I like it better in her hair or on her forehead it would have been interesting they would have actually molded it where it should be but I think just because it's such a tiny space that that's the reason why they might not have done it and plus if they would have done it it probably would have covered her eyebrows and it would have been like where are her eyebrows at so yeah I think that's part of the reason that they didn't do it and then I heard that these dolls trains actually aren't connected to them that they're a completely separate piece so you gotta connect them when you take them out of the box that's something I don't have to worry about because I don't debox my dolls but I think she looks a lot better than the actual 12 inch doll that's just my opinion but that won't stop me from getting the 12 inch doll because I love the harmonics line I love the way Jax did it and I like how they actually have more detail in them I didn't see the beauty in these dolls until honestly the harmonics dolls came out because I really wasn't interested in the Believix dolls at first because of how their eyes looked in the promo images so yeah that's just me I'm just a little weird when it comes to that and so yeah I'm not sure really what else to say but her shoulders and her arms and her knees are actually articulated and stuff okay so let me just tell you about where I got her so me and Maggie went to this huge shopping center for a day and it was a lot of fun I really enjoyed myself and so yeah after that we ended up coming back and I we stopped at Toys R Us on the way and that's where I got City Style Stella, Charmic Stella and the little Musa mini at and then we were on our way to take Maggie home and we have a Myers on the way, so we stopped by there since they have a bigger selection of Winks and Monster High stuff more than the Walmart does. So, yeah, we stopped in there, and the first thing I seen was City Style Aisha, and honestly, I hated myself for a little bit because I didn't have enough to get her. I was like $2 away from it, three if you count tax. And I had $10, and what I should have done is saved it, but then I seen that they had this little beauty there, and she was the only one there, so I was like, okay, so I spent $9, and I got her, which I don't regret it at all. So, yeah, I think she's a stunning piece of work. I can't wait to get the other Aisha dolls. I think I might end up getting Believix, but I'm not sure. I think I'm going to end up getting the little tiny Believix of her, but I want City Style and Harmonix of her and Cyrenix when it comes out. Strangely, as much as I love Aisha, I love her doll form, she is character-wise probably my second least favorite one, and she used to be my sixth one because I don't really count Roxy then Roxy would be at the bottom then she would be one of my middle ones but a lot of people do not like the fact that Roy and Aisha are they're not together but they like each other which I say go after him and I know I might get a lot of hate for this but I like Roy better with Aisha than Naboo with Aisha hear me out for a sec plus I kind of hope that Naboo doesn't come back once again, hear me out for a sec. Okay, so, hi you. So, do you know how, like, Naboo disappeared, he went into a coma, he died, that was basically being debatable at the moment. 
So, I kind of hope he doesn't come back because it'll just tell girls, oh, just, just wait on somebody. And I feel what Aisha did for, what Roy did for Aisha is allowed her to move on from Naboo. And I give her so much respect now as opposed to thinking of her as a sneaky boyfriend stealer. And yeah, that's what I thought about her before. So I ship Roy and Aisha because I think Roy is a lot better fit for Aisha than what Naboo is. Plus, I think they're just cute together. So, yeah, that's just me. That's just my opinion. We will see where the fourth movie, fourth movie, sorry, third movie confirmed and sixth season confirmed goes with this. But I hope to see more of Roy and Aisha because I think they make such a cute couple. And I ship them. Probably one of the few that actually does, but yeah. Thank you for watching this and thank you for listening to my rant. It means a lot to me. So, I love you. All have a good day, weekend, whenever you watch this. Okay, bye everyone. And small Aisha says bye too. Bye everyone.